Good morning. It's Friday, December 8th, and yesterday we went for a pretty good ride. I guess it was about, uh, you know, 25, 30 miles and not one issue, which is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Very, very pleased. Still haven't got 100% of my uh, confidence yet that there's not something wrong with it. But uh, let's see, oil is right where it was. Yeah, it's a little bit lower. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. It's okay. It's not dripping oil anywhere, that's for sure. So if it's consuming oil, it's burning it. So we'll have to see how that that goes. Uh, let me check one more time. Maybe the dipstick wasn't all the way down. Oh, yeah. Didn't use any. Okay, got to be careful. All right, so now today, what we're going to do, for starters anyway, I've got air leaks on these large fittings, and it's, I guess it's because it's pulling, and they've been disturbed. Now, I've replaced these already once. These are relatively new, and they I, I've never liked this push-on thing, so I bought a bunch of um, brass compression, old style, and these things are like bulletproof. Let me make sure I bought all the right ones. They're 3 8 pipe thread. Right? Yeah, 3 8 pipe. And did I show that? What's nice, look, these come with sealer already on the threads. So it's 3 I got two of them for the 5 8 diameter tube. I got one of them for half, which is this one. That's a 90. The other two, the first two I showed are 45 degree fittings. And then there's one, two, three that are 90s to go to 3 8 So that'll take care of all those. Now the little quarter inch ones, this is a... Uh, double check valve this guy here and I don't think I'm having an issue with those leaking so I'm just gonna leave those alone uh, and what this does this takes there's the the red side and the green side of this valve and um, it's a split system so you can have a failure in one side and not the other so this takes pressure from the green side in the back and feeds it to this valve and the red side comes into this valve so pressure on either one of those valves will go out this orange hose here and this goes out to the brake light switch so you'll always have brake lights if you even if you have a failure on half of the system and then this also is a modulated pressure which means it's it varies with how hard you push your foot on the brake, just the same as the, the lines that go out to the brakes themselves. Um, so that's where this T comes in to my trailer brake control valve. All right, so I should only need a bunch of open end wrenches here, and I'm pretty sure that they're all standard inch size. So let me go get my wrenches, and hopefully this will go real easy. Okay, these came out real easy. So you just compress this piece back and that lifts up the little fingers that are holding onto the hose and you can slide the hose right out of it. And I don't like that they use Teflon tape. I'm surprised. Teflon tape on sensitive valving, these little boogers here can work their way into the airline area uh anyway that's what i was taught so i i don't ever use teflon tape on anything other than like sprinkler lines or something see all these little pieces breaking off here so i'm gonna very carefully clean you know what i have a, a round metal brush because we don't want that crud to work its way into the lines So this tool made easy work out of cleaning the threads. This is for uh, 
soldering copper tubing to, to clean the copper tubing and the fittings. And uh, just kind of screw it in there, clean out all the gook. And I use compressed air <coughs> with this and put this up inside there to blow the dirt out. And so those are done. So with these two just connected here, I know I got red is on the forward side of the valve. And this is red on the forward side of the valve, so I'm not getting anything mixed up. Um, I'm gonna pull the bottom ones out now while I've got the extra flexibility of these not being in the way. All right, so I thought I'd stop for a minute and show you close up what these things look like. So this is, um, these are DOT approved fittings. And it's got DOT right there on the fitting. So you know that they're made for air brake tubing. Um, they come integral with the sleeve. This keeps the tubing from collapsing under compression. It's got the ferrule, which crimps down on the outside diameter and the nut. And these are nothing like the flare fittings. I mean, the compression fittings that you can buy at uh, the hardware store. They're much more robust. The nuts are much thicker. They won't, like if you put an open end wrench on one from Lowe's or Home Depot or any kind of hardware store, the nut will actually crush and get out of round because they're not thick. They're like the next wrench size bigger. <coughs> and uh, so I got all these out and they're all clean. So we're gonna start at the top first and uh, just screw the puppies in. Okay, so first goes the nut, then the ferrule. Then we put this guy on there and push it all the way up inside the fitting. Okay, and if you notice, the area where the ferrule is going to sit now is on fresh uh, tubing, not where this little depression is from the old fittings. Normally I would actually just cut the end of the hose off, but uh, I don't have my tube cutter. So here we go, now we just screw the nut on. Mm. And there's a, a tightening procedure for this. I'm gonna actually go back on the website because I forget. It tells you how many turns to go after it touches like where I am right now. Okie dokie. So for three, uh, three eighths to half inch, it's um, uh, four full turns which is, uh, you can just count the flats. Six flats is one turn and do that four times. So we got that one tight. All right, so here's a little tip for you. I put the nut back on the fitting. I take the ferrule out and put the nut on the fitting for tightening up so I don't run the risk of damaging the threads and if you've got this screwed on there plenty you can actually use this to help you turn it pretty cool okay so here's another cheat on how you can get the wrench to turn I've got the wrench on there on straight in on it and I'm using another wrench to twist the wrench and it works great Fabulous. No more air leaks. I've been wanting to do this since I've owned the bus. Finally. <laughs>